Hey Terry, I got a great idea. Why don't you put on all black and go to the beach where it's 85 degrees outside so you can turn into turkey bacon. <laughs> What's up y'all? I got a new tripod, man. This tripod has seriously changed my entire workflow. And this is the ProMaster Chronicle carbon fiber tripod. This is actually a tripod that's on Kickstarter. So it's not even out yet, but this thing is seriously like four different tripods in one. I've used it for the last couple of months. I've taken it to New York. I've taken it to Iceland. I've taken it to San Francisco. And honestly, it's replaced every other tripod that I've been using. And that's what I want to tell you about in this video, all about the new ProMaster Chronicle. Let's get it. Okay, so let's talk some details about this Chronicle real quick. First of all, I told y'all that it comes in carbon fiber, but there's also an aluminum option. And this is the tripod fully collapsed. And when you extend it, it's about 59 and a half inches. I might be off a millimeter or two. I'll put the official specs on the screen. Now, weight wise, it only weighs a hair over four pounds. Obviously the aluminum one weighs a little bit more, but only by a few ounces. And this thing can support 22 pounds, but very, very compact, very lightweight. And I'm gonna extend this real quick and mount a camera. So in three, two, one. Okay, so I got the tripod extended and it does come with this quick release plate. So I'm gonna put this on top right here. And then I'm gonna back up because I want you to see how tall this thing is. Let me adjust it real quick. So, all right, let's go ahead and walk backwards. Now I am 5'11", close to it. I'm really like 5'10 and a half, but I'm gonna get my extra half inch, right? And this is how tall the Chronicle is. So it's a pretty decent size tripod. On the side of it, there's a quarter 20 mount. On the other side of it, there's a 3 8 mount. And it's got two bubble levels on top of it. So what's so special about this thing? That's what we need to talk. First of all, we're gonna start with this thing right here. This is called, I call it the flexor, but it's really called the flexor, okay? Now there's a thumb screw on the side and look, boom. Now we have a handheld tripod. Now again, you don't have to have this on here, but right now I got a whole handheld vlogger solution right here. Also, hold up a second. This doubles as a tabletop tripod. So first of all, you know, I told you this thing was a chameleon. Option number one. Option number two, tabletop tripod. Option number three. So I can sit this down and remember it's got a ball head on it, a 36 millimeter ball head, and I can adjust this camera wherever I want to on the tape, but it gets deeper than that. Man, I'm getting bit up by everything known to man out here. I gotta give you more details about the flexor. So I got the camera mounted on here. Again, the quick release plate comes with the camera. So at the base, you have your thumb screw right here. This is what you use to lift the flexor up out the tripod, flexor, I'm sorry. And the other two knobs right here control two other things. So the main knob is how you control the friction for the ball head. The knob on the other side controls the pan. So you do have a free head that you can go up, down, left, right, let you know, bottom, right, cartwheels, all that good stuff, okay? So that's how you adjust the tripod's head. So I'm gonna lock this back into place. There's two more knobs up here. The first knob is obviously how you secure the camera to the tripod, right? So that's this knob right here. You put it on there, it's spring-loaded, so it's a really secure design, and bam, it's secured. The other knob, and I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it right here. This knob has a picture of a phone on it and a picture of a camera. What do you think this knob does? All right, you guessed it. So you turn that and Bam, now I have a vertical video setup. It goes deeper than this. So you see this part right here? I'm gonna take the camera off so you can see this. I'm gonna show you something. Hold on one second, let me get my phone out. All right. Okay, there's a knob on top of this, obviously, that you use to open this clamp up. You slide your phone inside the clamp. And would you look at that? Tighten this down, and now I have a built-in phone clamp, so a built-in phone tripod where now I could use this. And remember, I could put this on the table so I could pull the whole flexor out and put it on the table and now I have a tripod for my phone. On the side of the ball head, remember this is a 36 millimeter ball head, there's two U cutouts. So if you wanted to go vertical this way, you could do it. Or on the other side, if you wanted to flip it, this way you could. So there's three ways that you can go vertical and all three ways are built into the tripod. Other tripods do have stuff like this, but there's typically a separate attachment that you have to carry. This one, you don't have to. All you do, push that back down, put it back into place, put the camera back on top, and now you are rocking and 
rolling. So when I say this has replaced all of the tripods that I use, I'm not playing because all of these things are built in. And again, I don't need no extra parts or accessories to make this work. And bam, here's my regular tripod again. But I got one other thing I need to show you. And this is probably the most impressive thing about everything. Let's get it. I promise y'all, I'm not trying to make you jealous. I'm about to do something super sketchy and set my camera down on the ground to show y'all this part. Watch my back for me, okay? So the last thing that the Chronicle could do is just actually a monopod and it all starts again with the flexor. So I'm gonna take the flexor, flexor out and I'm gonna put this to the side for one second. Three legs right here, one of them has a grip on it. This is the one that you could take off. So if you unscrew this, now you have the start of a built-in monopod and it's not like one of those cheap monopods that some tripods come with right so first of all the monopod by itself is 53 inches tall and to transform this there's a foot on the bottom that we're going to take off and i'm going to stick this in my pocket because i'm known to lose stuff so i'm going to put this in my pocket and i'm going to grab the flexor okay now on the bottom of the flexor are the tripod legs so you take the tripod legs off and then you screw the tripod legs into the bottom of the monopod base and I'm gonna come show you something real quick, okay? You see this piece right here? This silver piece? This is actually a clutch. So when you disengage it, it actually gives you freedom to move the monopod however you want to. And I'm gonna show you this in one second. And when you re-engage the clutch, then it locks it back in place upright. Okay, let's go back over here. Let me try to get back in the same spot so y'all can see everything. Now, once I have that part set up, I'm gonna open these and then we're gonna take the flexor, flexor, and we're gonna screw it on top. So now I have right here a fully functional monopod that is almost taller than me. Now, as far as the clutch goes, if you slide the clutch upwards and sit this back down, now this gives you complete freedom, complete range of motion so that you can do all of the stuff you need to do. And when you're done, you just lock the clutch back in place and put it back together, reversing the entire process. So again, this is the reason why I've chosen to only carry this because I have, what, how many things that we go over? Like six different purposes that this Chronicle can do and one lightweight tripod. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Y'all, I promise y'all, <laughs> I'm getting tortured. It's so hot. Listen, I know tripods are not the funnest thing in the world to talk about, but I guess the reason why I'm so hyped about the Chronicle is because it has truly changed the way I operate for the better. If you are looking for a replacement tripod, you don't have a tripod, or maybe you're using one of those little rinky-dink tripods off of Amazon, trusting it with your $4,000 camera setup, stop playing games and get this tripod some serious consideration. It's lightweight, it's strong, it's got a ton of features built into it, everything's included, so it's not like you need to go out and buy other stuff like the foam mount and all that stuff, and most of all, it's a good look at tripod and one that i confidently trust i'm so sorry I'm getting, I'm getting nailed right now but i trust this with every single camera setup that i run anyways i hope this video was helpful for you and making the decision hey go order you one what you what you waiting on go order you one until next time i'm out of here tight shirt terry warfield piece of chicken grease much love